Here I sit, broken hearted. And I know that after yesterday's toilet paper video, you're all probably thinking, oh no, don't go there. But I am broken hearted. It's Sunday, it's worship time, and I'm here by myself. Uh, that, is, that is heartbreaking. And one of the things we need to do as the church, the, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a building we call the church, but the church is so much more than just a building. The church is every one of you watching this video, praying for your neighbors, your friends, the community, the world. I prayed for an example of hope because we need to be beacons of hope to the world, to those around us. And I, I prayed to God for a message of hope this morning. And as I awoke, I got that. I, I, I had a memory of, I was on a mission trip years ago. I don't even remember the year. It was in Isle of Palms, South Carolina. And it was uh, after Hurricane Hugo. And I was on a mission trip that helped, helped try to rebuild that community. And there was a church in that community. I don't even remember, I don't remember the, the denomination or any of that. That's not important. There was a church on Isle of Palms that put up a big billboard. And I'll never forget the message on that billboard. In all that devastation, Isle of Palms was, was ruined. And this church had a billboard that said, Hope rises with the sun. That was my first thought this morning after I prayed to God to have a message of hope. We all need to be beacons of hope for those around us. If we, if we, let, this, if we let all the stuff we see and, and hear, and, and it's easy to get down about it. It's okay to have down moments about it. But remember that we need to be beacons of hope. People are looking to their neighbors. They're looking to Christians. We need to be the church to our neighbors, to our friends, to strangers, to our communities, and again, to the world. Let's, let's bow in a word of prayer.